Hi folks, welcome and greetings. In this video, I want to show you how to download aerial imagery from the USGS, so let's get started. Before diving in, I'd be grateful if you like and subscribe, you can even super like or join our membership to support us more. Thanks a lot. Alright friends, first of all, we should go to the USGS website. I'll attach the website link in the description. If you click on it, you'll be redirected to the USGS website. Great. Now, here I click on the Earth Explorer. If you didn't see it like this, enter the USGS website. You'll see it there. After entering, we have to log in. The login option is right here. Then, enter your username and password. And if you're new to USGS and don't have an account, just click on create a new account. Enter the required information and create a new account for yourself. Alright, after signing in, we have to go to the dataset section. In fact, we should determine what kind of data we're looking for. So, I click on the aerial imagery. Then, select the third option, aerial photo single frames. Okay, now let's click on the toggle coverage map option to display the aerial imagery and see where these images cover. As you can see, the yellow parts display the areas where aerial imagery is available. Let me zoom in on a few of them. Almost they cover most parts of the US. Now I want to find somewhere to download the imagery for. Okay, I think here is not bad. All right. Make sure you're on the search criteria tab. Then we should enter the desired coordinates either by clicking or using a polygon. So I click to pin four points as my boundary. And finally, click on the results option. As you can see in this section, the available images for the selected region have been displayed. I click on the image icon here to preview that image. And there it is, the image for that region was displayed. But there is something that you should pay attention to, it's the date of the images. Each image has a date, and it lets you download older images. Let me go to the last page. Alright, if you pay attention to dates, you can see that the oldest image dates back to 1952 or late 1951. So we can get aerial images from 1952. If you click on the download option, the download options will be displayed. Here are various resolutions for aerial images that you can download based on your needs. Let's go to another area. I go back to the search criteria and delete the selected points. Then, from the datasets, click on the toggle coverage map and zoom in on an area. Again, I pin four points to shape a polygon. and go to the results tab. As you can see, here we have the images for 1956. The only problem with these aerial images is that they're not georeferenced. So indeed, you'll need to georeference these images after downloading. 
Let me download this image too. All right, next we have to extract the downloaded files. Now let's go to the QGI software and import the images to the software. And there you go. Here you can see the downloaded aerial imagery. Of course, you'll need your referencing. If you don't know how, just take a look at our previous videos. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you find this helpful for exploring and downloading USGS aerial imagery. If you did, give this video a thumb up, subscribe for more geospatial tips, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. See you in the next one.